marvelous Sunday morning. If you been blessed, if you been praying, wow, well done. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have blessed us with, Lord. We give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen. Okay, so our memory verse for today is on James 5 verse 16. James 5 verse 16. Prayer of a righteous person is has great power as it is working. James chapter 5 verse 16. Prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Okay, let's all say that together. James 5 verse 16. Prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Good. Have you got your dancing shoes on? Okay. I didn't put my dancing shoes on, but I'm going to get it on right now. So you do the same thing. We're going to give God all the praise, the glory and honor that he deserves. See you shortly. Become 
easy. Praying is like talking to God. It's talking to your friend, talking to mommy and daddy. That's what prayer is. Now we must remember that God's power is released when we actually get down to his business. Not our business, but God's business. And God's business is prayer. It's talking to him. And what does prayer do? Prayer opens many doors. If you're praying for something, oh God, like most of us now, we're busy writing exams. We're writing tests. We are praying when we are writing those tests because next year we want to go to our next grade, don't we? Do you want to remain in the same grade as you are? Yeah, we want to go to the next grade. So we shouldn't just pray when we want something or try to be God's best friend. Oh God, please give me this. I'll be the best person. No. And we also don't pray when we're in trouble. God, please help me. I won't do it again. Please get me through this. And what happens next week? You're doing the very same thing that you did and you ask God to forgive you. So praying isn't about twisting God's arm every time that you want something or blackmailing God. If you don't give me this, I'm not coming to church next week. If you don't do what I want, I'm not going to be good to my brother. I'm not going to be good to my sister. No, it doesn't. We don't have to blackmail God. And we don't have to try to impress God. Oh, I'm going to bring my best singing voice. I'm going to give sweets to the child on the corner. No. What you do for God comes from the goodness of your heart. It comes from within you. So we don't need to impress God. God doesn't need us to impress him. When should we pray? We should pray in the morning. We pray at night. Before we make a decision. When we're busy. When we are in pain. When we get hurt. When we worried, when we troubled, most importantly, we pray when we in church, we pray in death. When somebody is born, we pray. When we have sinned, when we are afraid, when we have that nightmare and we wake up in the middle of the night, we pray. We ask God to comfort us, to give us a peaceful night's sleep. Basically, we've got to pray every day, every time, all the time. So, when do we pray? How do we pray, actually? We pray when we're walking, when we're sitting, before we have breakfast, before we have a meal. That could be breakfast, lunch, supper, a snack. When we're going on holiday. We, play, we pray when we're playing with our friends, when we go to the doctor, because then we sick. And we need the doctor, we need God to allow the doctor to heal us. And praying is like a love letter, a love letter to God. Because we're telling him our feelings, we're telling him our secrets. And you know when we should pray? All the time, yes, that's good. Not just when we need something, oh, please God help me. No, we pray all the time. So remember all of those things. Remember your five finger prayer. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for our lesson. Father, I have learned that I should always pray and be grateful to you. Lord, I love you with all my heart. Amen. Until we meet again, my babies, I love you. Be safe. Be careful. And for those who are writing, good luck with your exams. And remember, pray before you write your exams. 
When you are studying, pray. God will help you. The Holy Spirit will help you remember everything. I love you. Take care. Till next week. Bye.